Hi, this is Rick Kearney at Earl Stewart Toyota. We're talking about cars. Your cars. Y'all have seen a lot of those products in the stores and commercials on television talking about, hey, put this in your tank. Dump this in your tank. This will get you better fuel economy. This will make your tires last longer. Well, give it a grain of salt, folks. A little bit of common sense. Most of those chemicals that you dump into the gas tank don't do a whole lot because they're diluted by the gasoline. Modern gasolines have detergents added to them. They help keep your engine clean just through normal driving. Those little short trips don't really get your engine up to operating temperature so that it can actually help clean itself. Take your car out and just give it a Sunday drive once in a while, 30, 40 miles, just to give it some exercise and to help make sure that everything gets heated up and cleaned out properly. Visit your local mechanic to have your injectors cleaned at least once a year. Now this is done with a special chemical that a professional mechanic uses because he actually connects it into the fuel line and runs a high pressure chemical that's very caustic to clean out those fuel injectors. This is not something you should try on your own unless you've had a lot of experience. Another thought on fuel is the octane rating. Now I know this gets a little confusing for most people, but the easiest resource is your owner's manual. Check the book and see what's recommended for your vehicle. My truck is recommended to run just fine on 87 octane, and most cars are. However, there's a lot of cars out there that are tuned specifically to run on the 91 to 92 octane of premium fuel. If you notice that your car doesn't seem to have quite as much power as you really think it should, or if you hear kind of a light rattling, tapping, or knocking sound from the engine, especially under hard acceleration, try switching up to the mid-grade or the high-test fuel to see if it improves the situation. If it does, go with it. Bear in mind, these fuels are more expensive, so it gets you in the wallet a little bit. But, if it works out for you in the long run, it may be worthwhile. Earl Stewart.